Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daisy DIY. Today I'm sharing with you guys an easy Christmas DIY using items from Dollar Tree. If you want to see a step by step, please keep watching. The first thing we're going to need for this project is going to be one Christmas wood decor that I got from Dollar Tree and here is the item number if you guys need it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be removing this image from the front part and also this part and this is how it looks once you're completely done. So I just remove everything because I decide that I just want to paint all these parts. So once I'm done, I'm going to be using this crap wash chalkboard paint on color ink that I got from Dollar Tree. To paint it, I'm going to be using this brush from Dollar Tree. So once we're done, I'm going to be painting also the edges. And also, I decide to paint the back of the wood decor so it can have a finished look. And this is how it looks once you're done. Also, I'm going to be using one piece of scrapbook paper that I had on hand. I'm just going to be tracing it with my pencil. And once I trace it, I'm just going to use my scissors to cut it. And this is how it looks once you're done. So the next thing we're going to be using, it's going to be this mud patch that I got from Dollar Tree. So I just did one layer and once we're done, we're just going to put a piece of the scrapbook paper on the top. So once we're done, we're just going to let it dry. I'm going to use this clothespin that I got from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just going to remove this part from the clothespin so we can paint it. And to paint it, I'm going to be using this crap wash chalkboard paint on color ink that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. And this is how it looks once it's completely dry. So I'm going to be using this 6000 that I got from Walmart. Also, I'm going to be doing a combination with hot glue so it can have a strong hold. The next thing we're going to be using, it's going to be this ornament that I got from Dollar General. Also, I'm going to be using these berries that I got from Dollar Tree and also a few pieces of this greenery that I'm going to put it right here. So to glue it, I'm just going to use hot glue. I'm going to use the Rustoleum chalkboard paint on color white that I got from Amazon. So I'm just going to be painting a little bit this part of the ornament. Once we're done, we're just going to put the ornament right here. You guys can put anything. It will look really pretty. And to hang our wall decor, you guys can just leave it how it is. I decide to use the same jute twine that I came with this wall decor. So I just create this knot on the front. So once I create it, I'm just going to use the hot glue to glue it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about our first project. For our 
our second project, I'm gonna be reusing some jars that I had on hand. In total, you guys are gonna need three. So to paint it, I'm gonna be using this paint on color pearl that I got on Tuesday morning. So to paint it, I'm gonna be using my finger. Um, I don't know if because they had it really long, this paint, but it was really hard to put it with a brush. So, so I decided to use my finger and it works pretty well to put this paint. So I just did one coat and once I was done, I just let it dry. And this is how it looks once it's completely dry. Also, I'm going to be using this berry garland that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to start placing it first on the jar so I can see how much do I need. And to glue it, I'm just going to use hot glue. But if you guys want a strong hold, I would recommend you guys to use E6000. And this is how it looks once you're done. Also, I'm going to be reusing this ribbon that I had on hand. And I'm just going to start creating a small bow to put it on the top of the jar. So once I'm done, I'm just going to use my scissors to cut it. And to glue it, I'm just going to use hot glue. And to decor this beautiful jar, you guys can put anything inside. I'm just going to put this greener that I have from Dollar Tree. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about our second project? For our third project, I'm going to be reusing this wood crate that I just created. I will link the video down below so you guys can see it. So I'm going to be using this ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to start putting on the top of the jar. And I'm just going to measure it at the side that I want it. And once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to start creating a small bow on the top. So once we're done, I'm just going to be using these stickers that I had on hand. And I'm just going to be using this word to put it right here on the middle of the wood crate. So to decor this piece, I'm just going to be using these pine coins that I had on hand. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about our third project. And for our fourth project, I'm going to be using another jar. And also, I'm going to be using this ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. So, I'm just going to put it on the middle of the jar and measure it how long I want that ribbon to be. So, once I'm done measuring, I'm going to be using my scissors to cut it. And once we're done, I'm just going to fold that ribbon in half. And to glue it, I'm just going to use hot glue. Also, I'm going to be using this Christmas ornament that I got at home. And here's the item number if you guys need it. So you guys can see, I decided to use this part of the jar to put it. So it can have a finished look on the back of the jar. And to glue it, I'm just going to use hot glue. But if you guys want a strong hold, I would recommend you guys to use E6000. Also, I decided to glue the bottom part too. And to decor this beautiful jar, I'm going to be using this greenery that I have from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to place it in the jar. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about our fourth project. For 
our last project I'm gonna be using this foam board that I got from Dollar Tree so I just cut it with my exacto knife and here is the measurement the first one it measured 27 centimeters long by centimeters wide and I just cut two pieces and for the long pieces it measured 51 centimeters long and five centimeters wide and I just have two pieces of this same measurement the next thing we're going to be using is going to be this Waverly Chalk Paint on Color Anti-Wax. And to paint it, I'm just using a small piece of this bad sponge that I got from Dollar Tree. So here in this part, I just use a technique that this wonderful person, Sarah, she has on her channel. She used the Waverly Wax water base and she mixed it a little bit with the Waverly Chalk Paint Anti-Wax. And once she mixes it very well, this this beautiful effect of the wood I will link her channel below for you guys the channel name is the peppermint cactus The next thing we're going to be using is going to be this placemat that I got from Dollar General and here is the item number if you guys need it. So what I did, I just put the placemat on the bottom and the frame on the top and once I put it this way, I'm just going to start gluing it and for that, I'm just going to use hot glue. Also, I'm going to be using these super jumbo craft sticks that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place them on the back of the frame just like this and once I put them, I'm just going to start start gluing it and for that I'm just gonna use hot glue also I decide to paint it and the paint that I'm using is the Waverly Chuck paint on color truffle so what I did I just put a little bit of water and a little bit of paint and once I was done I just mix it very well and I just create this stain and to paint it I'm just using a small brush I decided to do this step so I can have a finished look on the back And this is how it looks once you're done. Also, I'm going to be using this picture hanging kit that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be using this screw hook to put it on the frame. I'm just going to put it right here in the middle. I'm going to be using this 6000 for a stone hole. And once I'm done putting that, I'm just going to be reforcing this piece with hot glue. Also, I decided to put another piece of this jumbo sticks on the middle of the hanger so it can have a stone hole. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about our last project. So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that I upload a new video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much.